Hello, this is Dr. Gil Wilshire in Columbia, Missouri. Today we're doing surgery on a young woman who has an abnormality inside of her uterus. It is called a septum. The uterus is normally triangle shaped, but the inside of the uterus sometimes has a dip in it called a septum. A septum can cause miscarriages and other reproductive problems. So today we're going to fix this septum for this young lady. Right now we have a telescope in her uterus and salt water is opening up her uterus giving us room to work. So if we look at the TV screen now, you can see here's what it looks like up inside what's called the cervical canal. Tiny little polyp thing here I'm gonna get rid of while I'm there. There we go. And now we're gonna go look inside the uterus. This is the cavity of the uterus called the endometrial cavity. You can see openings of the tubes. There's the opening of the left tube. There's the opening of the right tube. Mark, can you give me some more pressure, my friend? And there's the entire cavity. It's not very obvious to you because this is in two dimensions, but in three dimensions, this area right here in the uterus is, is coming towards us. And I can see that it is white and fibrous. Now I'm going to remove some of the superficial tissue to give me a line that I'll be able to aim for. And you can see these white fibrous bands going up and down and they do not have good blood supply. These are avascular. As you can see, there's no bleeding as I'm scraping off the top, but I'm beginning to see these white fibrous bands that are the septum. Now, Kim's gonna give me some scissors. These are tiny little scissors. And we're gonna use these scissors to cut this septum and give this uterus a normal shape. So I'm gonna start here. And you can see it's starting to cut. We want to cut in a line between the openings of the tubes. And you can see this white fibrous tissue. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't bleed. And we're going to continue across here, cutting very carefully and slowly, aiming between the two tubal ostia or the openings. And you can see these white fibrous bands here. You can see them giving way and a septum does not have good blood supply and it doesn't bleed. And you can see there's absolutely no bleeding doing this, confirming that we have a septum. And we very carefully do this. I do hundreds and hundreds of these so I can move fairly quickly because I'm very comfortable doing this. We don't want to go too high. And you'll see when we start getting up to the other side of the septum, the uterus should become pink and we'll start to see blood vessels. You can start seeing a little bit of pink sneaking out underneath this, it's called septum resection. You can still, you can see it's still not bleeding at all. And you can see we're starting to see some little blood vessels right there telling us we're almost done. There's the pink underneath, there's the pink. So we're continuing to cut this white fibrous tissue not bleeding. Now we knew she had a septum, or we strongly suspected she had a septum from her ultrasounds in the office. And here we're just simply confirming what we were pretty certain of. So you can see there's absolutely no bleeding. The top of the uterus is now starting to turn pink, which is telling us we're pretty much finished here. And if we back off, you can see there's the septum all gone. The top of the uterus is now a normal shape, more triangular shape. We don't want to get too close to the tube there. But right there is a beautifully resected septum. The inside of her uterus now has a normal shape. So there you go. That is resection of a uterine septum. This is Dr. Wilshire, Missouri Fertility in Columbia, Missouri at Boone Hospital Center. I hope that was interesting.